Hey booktube, welcome back. I'm Winx and the ink I'm talking about today is the second annual Sherlock Holmes reading month. If you missed this last year, it is essentially just a very low pressure readathon. It takes place over the entire month of January, which was chosen because for one, it I don't know if you just heard Mosa, but she's really upset right now. It takes place over the entire month of January, which was sort of chosen because it just worked with everyone's schedules, but also it turns out it is Sherlock Holmes' birthday month, so it's extra appropriate. Um, but basically, over the entire month of January, you were just encouraged... Baby girl, come here! But basically, over the entire month of January, you were just encouraged to read something related to Sherlock Holmes. So it can be some of the original stories, it can be a modern day pastiche, there's also a lot of really great fan fiction. I especially am uh, fond of the BBC Sherlock fandom, so there's a lot of really good ones in there. Um, yeah, it's really up to you. It can also take over your entire TBR, or it can be a little piece of it. Whatever you want. That's how we roll here. I'm really excited and uh, my TBR is actually going to be made up of books I meant to read during last year's Sherlock Holmes reading month, but I did not have quite as much time as I thought that I would. So um, I have three books picked out here and the first one I'm so excited for, it's Sherlock Holmes, or sorry, it's uh, the Cthulhu casebook Sherlock Holmes and the Shadwell Shadows. This is by James Lovegrove and yes, it is a mashup of Sherlock Holmes and Cthulhu. I know nothing else about it. I don't even want to read anything else about it. That's all I need to know and I'm excited to go into it and see what's going to happen. I also just really like this um, cover and the end pages. Super cool too. So that is definitely going to happen. Um, I also then have Moriarty, which um, this is by Anthony Horowitz and this is actually the second book that he wrote in a um, Sherlock Holmes series. The first of which is um, The House of Silk, which I read for last year at Sherlock Holmes Reading Month, and I really, really enjoyed it, so I'm excited to read this one. And the third book on my list is Sherlock Holmes The Breath of God by Guy Adams, and this was actually a Secret Santa present I received last year from the lovely Maya from Maya Reads. And I am, again, really excited to get to this one. I was really excited last year even more excited about all of these this year. Um, and then I will probably try to read one or two of the short stories. Um, I haven't decided which ones of the original short stories. Um, so I'll probably just, um, I don't know. Last year I had this idea of doing a poll and I think maybe I did that where I was like, give me some random numbers. Maybe I'll do that again. We'll see. Um, but I do have some, um, ways that we can also celebrate the month if you're looking for other ways beyond just reading. First of which is making videos. Last year for the Sherlock Holmes reading month I did put together a tag video though I put it up a little bit late at the end of the month so I don't think quite as many people had a chance to do it but several of you did and that was super awesome and I loved watching them um, so I will link that up top and down below if you want to check it out. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you do the tag and post it because I would love to watch it. Also, if you'd like to do any other type of Sherlock Holmes related video, I would love to hear about it. Um, I'm going to try and think of a couple to do over the course of the month, but um, I haven't quite thought of them yet, though I do think that I'm going to try and be more active on Twitter during the month, maybe some um, reading sprints or um, questions of the day, stuff like that. I think that will be really fun. If you want a few other tips on how to properly enjoy the month, I would suggest possibly donning any Sherlock Holmes related uh, apparel that you might have. Um, also this, I feel like this makes me feel like Benedict Cumberbatch when I do the popped uh, collar thing here. So that's my Sherlock jacket. You might also want to cuddle a Pusheen Sherlock while you're reading. He's very cuddleable and very um, detective-y. Such detective such cat. I love it. He's so cute. I also highly recommend browsing the Sherlock fandom tees on adagio.com. I really enjoy this one, which is Reichenbach Recovery. So sad. Poor Watson. So sad. Um, I actually also really, really like the John Watson blend that's on there. Um, I think by the same one. I think it's um, Cara McGee that makes these. 
and I love them. I didn't have my John Watson, otherwise I would show you that one. Um, but you can drink that in true Sherlock style with this diffuser that looks like his pipe. Isn't that the coolest? I actually got that just for this month and I'm gonna use it all month. I'm so excited. So be sure to grab all of your Sherlockian goodies and join in on the Sherlock Holmes Reading Month 2018 this January. I'm excited. Let me know down in the comments if you're planning on participating and what you might be reading for the month. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I hope your week is going well so far and I will talk to you soon. Bye!